Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back. This is the MDH podcast. Number five. Uh, I'm your host. One of your hosts, I suppose. The host with, with some of the most. Uh, it's a different new intro. <laughs> new one. We got Marshall over new here. New one. New one. We got Greg in the back, as they say. It's a way moment. In the back. In the bus. Uh, and today, our special guest is George. We could probably do an uh, advert for the a whole podcast. Want to give a bit of a description? Get, advertise yourself? The hustle? Dear podcast listeners, this is a special announcement from Marshall in the editing booth. George was an idiot and all of his audio got corrupted. So you'll have to deal without him for the first four and a half minutes. <laughs> oh shit. I've got a question. You guys know about politics and stuff. I'm bringing up politics. I saw oh, on the TV at the gym, Ru- there's a Moscow-Russia victory parade. Mm-hmm. What's that about? So, um, on May 9th, <laughs> on May, on May 9th, 1945, Russia declared victory over the no, Germans. No, it's not for, it's not for Ukraine. No. Um, oh, okay. but it's, 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 oh, it's like, why it. are they celebrating? So, so prior to 1990, I think 1995 specifically, I think it was like a Brezhnev thing. Um, prior to 1990, they held it three times. Once in 1945, once in 1960, and once in 1980. And then in 19, uh, in like 1995, they started holding it every year. You know, just to be like, yeah, we're fucking cool. Distract you from all the problems caused by the Soviet Union collapsing. We're going to have this giant fucking parade. Uh, but it's really funny, this specific one. Normally, they have like 200 vehicles going through Red Square, which is center of Moscow. Um, mm. But in 2023, they only managed to do 50 vehicles um, mm. and one tank. There was literally only one tank on parade. <laughs> and not only was it not like a, a real tank, it was a museum replica T-34, which is a tank from 1942-1-ish. So they had no modern tanks. They had like two BMPs, which is like their armored vehicle like it's like that kind of tank vehicle that infantry rides in or on top of basically it was just yeah you learn Apparently. on this podcast that's what happens they, you, get, you get educated educated well so they cancelled uh, their mm. their flyover by their aviation as well mm-hmm. we fly on basically them, it's it's just kind of pathetic that the country that claims to be the second most powerful military in the world can only muster a tank that is 70 years old at its military parade. You could probably <laughs> mobilize. You could probably like. <laughs> the I peak of legends fan. Let's say like I Walmart wanted to raise an because... army. I think Walmart <laughs> could raise an army that would be able to push Russia out of Ukraine. Based Zuckerberg? Yeah, I mean, I you, you really can't. You can't hate on the Zuck. I'm a very pro Zuck no. guy. Fair. I'd love I'd love Zuck to give me the Gluck. The Gluck Zuck. I would like, I would like to touch. Taste Zuck's meat. If I could lick yeah. Mark Zuckerberg's balls, I would. I love billionaires. What the fuck? I mean, he the, his barbecue that he did, guys. Mm. It's barbecue. He had a barbie. Yeah, Mark Zuckerberg. When yeah, you not Facebook have you not seen him once, like cooking uh, cooking food? <laughs> and it was like, the most <laughs> fucking like fake alien human shit yeah, I've ever seen in my life. No, that you're you're misrepresenting the Zuck the Zuck <laughs> Incorrect. False. Like, there's no way that guy's a real human for sure, right? Who do? Does anyone even use Facebook apart from mums anymore? Racist. Yes. Is it just racist? Omar. So my easy. My cage. God, I want to work in one of those Amazon cages. Same. Just have all my... I want to drive my little forklift away, listening to some Hurt by Johnny Holy. Cash. George is recording his podcast from the Viet Cong forest, <laughs> apparently. Ben, ben said to me spot. today he wanted me to delete his podcast. Why? <laughs> I said, that's not getting deleted, Ben. I don't even remember what happened in Ben's podcast. Why would he want to delete it? I don't know. Can we, like, um, directors cut it? Or, like, you know, we watch it through and everyone just commentates on the commentary? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, let's do that. Let's start doing directors cuts of our own podcast. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Just go, I, really like, I, say... really, I really like that joke we made there. Actually, it's a. I'm not sure if you guys co- sense that, but it was a. It was a. Um, it was a reference to a previous bit we had mm. in podcast two. 
So what? Um, what's your favourite joke? Or what's your, who's, who's been your favourite guest? I told a joke so today, and no one liked it. I was really disappointed. Okay, carry on. I'm sure we can find more people who not like it. Yeah, it wasn't good. They didn't like Who's it. Who's been the Jake? best podcast oh. guest? That's a hard question. Um, Greg on this 500 ping. Uh, I think you're just on Andy and Lee were pretty good. Andy and Lee were pretty good. I, I think, think Tom, Tom who? because he gave us the most funny summation of uh, Star Wars up here. Yeah. Yeah. That, like, Tom's... Tom's Tom's an, a travelled person. Like he's he's quiet, but he's been in a lot of situations where I'm like, well, that's just strange. How like I couldn't imagine Tom's that being a traveler. situation. I'm not a traveller. He's a travelled lad. A strange person. You could have ended there, to be honest. Mm. You're not wrong, actually. He is, a friend he of the is. podcast, actually. He's friend of the special. podcast. Yeah. Big friend. Big friend. Big lad. Big, big lad. He, he hasn't been the going podcast. to the gym. He's been slacking. Yeah, mm. he's he's not been climbing either. In fact, no one's been climbing recently. It's too it's expensive. expensive. It is too expensive. Yeah, everyone, gym is. Cheaper. What do you mean? It's only like sixty-five pound a month. That's yeah, that's or nothing. fifteen for the gym. Yeah, why would you go gym when you can go climb? Gym's based. because it's <laughs> because it's more than a quarter of the price, and I get yeah. big big boy gains from it. You can't get pumped in the climbing gym. But you you do get no. extremely pumped climbing. You get very pumped, don't you? <laughs> you do get. You get the games. What drug would you like to take? Any more uh, context? Yeah, no. Also, just right now. What do you have a hankering for, Greg? Uh, well, ketamine. I can't. No, don't really think I have a hankering no. for anything. I'll go no, ketamine. Not, not thirsty. Not thirsty. Hungry. Mm. How bad could ket be? Realistically, not Can bad. Billy on, not very bad. Oh, a lot, on an unrelated lot of people note. fucking take it. <laughs> it's a, it's a semi-enjoyable <laughs> drug to take. Have we done a podcast with Billy? No yeah, fun. that was yeah. right after he fell off his bike and broke his arm. Like oh the same yeah, day. we had the fat oh, animation with him. I forgot he had his arm broken. Yeah, he did. No, it's that BT right? guy. Collarbone. It was his collarbone. Yeah, that was it. That was his collarbone. Okay, so who's been your least favorite guest? Both. <laughs> that was quick. Uh, that Joe. was very fast. It, it, it's not that Joe's bad; it's the podcast was a bad podcast. Uh, All I'm hearing is he's bad. I do well, like if Joe. you want to read that into that, you can. It would be very, very. I'm sure the viewers at home will. No one's listening mm. at this point. True. I mean, honestly, I'm sure. I'm sure the viewer at home is. All our podcasts are pretty fucking shit. Oh, so. I wish that Vietnamese man from the first podcast would watch again. It was all downhill. <laughs> that 65-year-old Vietnamese <laughs> guy. Fuck, I miss him. All downhill from here. So, Marshall. Mm. Dating. You have to watch the last podcast. You, you missed it. Who had it? Uh, you, Elliot. He... Who do you think would win in a fight in RuneScape? Between, between who? 85 cows or 50 lumberage yeah. frogs. Lumber, like the, uh... the big ones. Giant frogs. Yeah, yeah, the the ones in Lumbridge Swamp, I think. Yeah, the ones in the one okay. in the swamp. All right, I will. Oh, damn. I'm I'm watching the fight right now. Okay, okay. cows are getting. Oh my god, the cows got massacred. It, it wasn't even yeah, fucking I... close. Yeah, the bro. cows got slaughtered. I know my RuneScape, bro. I know my RuneScape. Onto the the travel section of the podcast. Um, well, where's everyone going this year? Going to your mom's to house. Leeds. We this did. Weekend, you just how was Leeds? You just got back, didn't you? Yeah, I did. You, you uh, it was pretty fun. You went out. Uh, Sam tried to fight me twice. Did he? Uh, when he was drunk, that was fun. Did you win Damn, twice? Uh, he fucking he didn't win one of them. Let me tell you. <laughs> Holy fuck! He he slammed me. So we we were in the club, hmm. a club called Prism. Pretty shit. Oh, uh, I love a prism. Uh, it wasn't terrible actually. Uh, but was in a prism, went to get a drink, me and Sam were at the bar, and some fucking guy just pushes in between us to get to the bar. And I was like, I can't be asked to deal with that. Sam, on the other hand, like, did not like that. Me. So, so Sam left the queue, and then Reinhardt charged back into the <laughs> queue to try and squash the guy against the bar. Missed and just squashed me. <laughs> <laughs> Holy fuck! Did he, he, did he get kicked he out for that? Flattened me. No. Uh, <laughs> he flattened me <laughs> and then just disappeared. 
And I, I was like, I, I don't even want to turn around to see what the, who the fuck did that, just in case they think that's me wanting to fight back. Oh my god. I'm just going to look forward. <laughs> you actually yeah, uh, Actual beta. <laughs> this dude's just like some guy flat. railing. Yeah. <laughs> Reel him right in the back. And then, and then I turned around to go to where Adam was. Mm. Uh, and Adam was like, Sam, <laughs> Sam is being problematic. <laughs> And I was like, I just got squashed at the bar. And then Adam was like, that was Sam. <laughs> <laughs> like, fuck me. And then in the group chat, Sam disappears. And then in the group chat that we have, he types two gobbledygook messages that you cannot understand. And then the next message in perfect English is, I'm cleaning. <laughs> cleaning what? What? No cleaning. idea. He doesn't remember either. <laughs> but apparently halfway into the club, he just decided to do a little bit of cleaning. Nice. Uh, and then after after the night out, we went Mackey's. We hit a Mackey's angle, of course. Yeah. Uh, and then Sam went in first because we tried the KFC first, but they weren't serving ten for ten, so we ditched the KFC to go to Mackey's. Uh, and Sam had already been through Mackey's, and once we got our food and left Mackey's, Sam was trying to start on the bouncers outside of Mackey's. <laughs> so I tried to grab him. Wait, to McDonald's pull him away had, from McDonald's the had bouncers. bouncers. Yeah, at like Before, 2 a.m. After oh, night out, wow. yeah. Nights out, they do. Yeah, you have no idea how bad <laughs> people Every, get. Everyone hits Mackey's, bro. Yeah, everyone yeah, hits a Mackey's angle after a night out. I wouldn't really think it was 2 a.m. So, fucking I don't know, Sam, it's not in my meal plan, bro. I was, I was, <laughs> I was dragging Sam away, and then he fucking turns around and goes, fuck off, and shoves me. <laughs> <laughs> shoves me across the fucking road. It's like, what a cunt. Damn. And then I went around the corner, had a piss and piss alley. Um, do you get arrested for public intoxication? Nope. That's sad. No. Then I got an Uber and... How much did the Uber home. cost? You drove the Uber, right? Uh, I did drive the Uber. It was like 30, 35 quid? Because we went from Leeds to Yeadon. Wait, did you not... Did you oh, I assume you split the Uber and everything. Yeah, we split the, split the Uber. It was 35 total. Oh, yeah. Uh, I was, Ubers I was are actually well fucking cheap Yeadon. if you just get in them with like four or five people. Like, we're way cheaper than yeah, taxis. Yeah, four or five people, it's not terrible. Mm-hmm. So much as if splitting prices by, like... Yeah, but, I mean, yeah. compare them to taxis, though. Like, the same taxi ride would cost you, like, 100 I, I went from I went from Leeds to Ipswich, which is, like, fucking 250 miles or some shit, mm-hmm. for 25 quid in a train. And yeah. then from the train station to my house, which was two miles, was 10 quid in a taxi. Yeah, yeah. Fuck me, bro. Well, I mean, the taxis train's already going scams. that way, though. Taxis are fucking scams, bro. <laughs> Fuck taxis. Well, I mean, last mile is also always way expensive. But yeah, taxis suck, and they wonder why they get fucking destroyed by Uber. <laughs> <laughs> well, Uber was going to be even more expensive. I tried to get an Uber from the train station. It was like minimum 15 quid. Too fair, that's because that's Ipswich. Ipswich. Yeah, that's Ipswich are yeah. not very uh, potent. Yeah, to be fair, it was saying it was going to order a taxi through a local taxi service. Yeah. So it wasn't a natural Uber. So you lost two fights then? Uh, I did get destroyed by Sam twice, I guess. And you didn't you... even try and fight back. Uh, yes, I did not try and Bait fight back. Holy right. hell. Correct. Speaking of fighting, um, who do you think is the dark horse of the uh, the MDH boxing tier list? Well, it's Ray not Elliot, ben, that's for sure. Ben. Ben, Ben, yeah. Ben's ben, at the top. What, ben Pierce? He refuses to show up, yeah. Michael, actually, True. He's not the dark time. horse. He is ben, just Ben would be the, Ben's the dark horse for sure. Ben's very Ben's strong. the dark horse. Michael's Michael's one of the favourites. Michael is just I'd, the favourite. I'd put Ben in like my top top uh, four probably. Ben's got Ben's got good blood in him, you know. I just think Ben wouldn't show up. True, he'd be late. That's why he's not and my top three. Of, that's kind of Giga Chad about him. He'll turn up, up last and beat everyone. Hmm. We'll show up a day later, fresh when everyone else has already fought. Yeah, yeah. And then he'll kick everyone's asses. Mm. That's his strength. I'm a big fan of Thrash him, in League of Legends. Okay, so Yeah? What about him? Like, body pillow wise or like, you know, skill set wise? Yeah. What's, the, what's that skin? Thoughts? What's that skin that makes him a husband? Spirit though? Daddy! Not that one. <laughs> Sorry? The other <laughs> one. It's Spirit, it's spirit Blossom Thrash. thrash. Some shit. How much like, for me to one? cosplay as Spirit Daddy? You can How you much? can pull it off, so I you. wouldn't pay you. No. Yeah. What if I did you pull pay it us, off? Bro. What does he look oh, like? I'm googling him. Impossible. I'm googling him. What was he called? I don't really want to search. Spirit Daddy Fresh. 
Thresh. Yeah. Well, it's Spirit Blossom. As in T H R. Oh, Thresh, not like Fresh. Not as in Fresh. Holy shit, you're so dumb. Not as in Fresh. I could be. I I could be. This guy's so out of it. I could be. Fresh crystal straight from Kazan. Not like that. I could do that. All right, George. So you've gotten to League of Legends rank Platinum Four. How would you describe your journey to get there? Uh, it's been a lot easier since you've not been there. Okay, what, what, was, what would you say is the hardest moment in your uh, journey champ. that you had to get over? <laughs> <laughs> Have you, are you still at a Lowey one, Chick? Yeah, no, I've never, to be fair, sure. I picked up Urgot for when she gets banned, or like, they, I, they, I if they pick like, play Yorick. And what I would... have seen you grief a game almost. Yeah, the, listen, the coin flips do exist, it's just the one side of the coin's bigger than the other now. For Urgot, or for Alawi? Uh, Me. <laughs> you in general, see? Me, IRL, in game, everything. What's Alawi's biggest counter? Um, my mental. <laughs> <laughs> what champ? Like, what champ? Uh, probably like Yorick or Darius. Darius is really strong at the moment, but Yorick is um consistently oh, an issue. It's because like my oh. tentacles don't one hit his little ghouls, so I have to manually hit them, and it's it... she's got quite a slow attack speed. Does the tentacles no, count? Like Yorick is damage, a pretty yeah. hard counter for Alawi, yeah. right? Because oh, just because yeah. he can kite you very easily, he has a slow and his yeah. uh, wool really fucks you because you don't build attack speed. You do get an auto reset, but not very fast. Yeah, but you know, know, it's three or four from rank one, isn't it? So yeah, uh, yeah whenever I see a Yorick, I pick Urgot just because so much, so much mm. easier to. Also, uh, yeah, also he's a split your pusher and you're a split pusher, so he sort of nullifies you. But he does better yeah, in a 1v1 versus you. If you leave, kind of him al you, you leave him alone, he'll just like eat your turret. What's, um, what's your, your permaban? Permaban at the moment is Darius. Um, okay. I just, across all my champs, he's the one champion that like, my perma fight mentality never pays off because he has such a, a stacked yeah, deck. Because he destroys you at level 1 to... Yeah, if I don't go 0-3 in a Darius lane by like 2 minutes, then the game's won. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, he is, he is the one of those laners where just don't die forehead. I was like uh, I was Olaf. Malphite for a while. A true, Olaf is another one that I don't like. Cool. Olaf is less less countering my champions and more countering my my, my mental. Okay, Olaf is just <laughs> not a fun lane against because it's it's like yeah. uh, he can Olaf, keep throwing Olaf axes at you. Olaf off so hard though. He can keep throwing yeah. axes at you if he hits if he hits one. He can just run you down and like it's not yeah. very hard for him to hit one. And it's, it's such a boring Olaf lane so where you just hard. have to give up like a bunch of CS, and then if you do, if you do do that, then you I get am, to Mordecai be more useful. Felt, pro, felt pretty good against Alawi. Yeah, well, you, um, uh, the yeah, interaction really. with the ult is is quite strong for Mord. It can be, but like you have to be a good Mord player to. Um, I mean, actually, do if anything. you if you both hold ults, Mord will beat you in a fight, no? Yeah, and then uh, so he can just ult really. after you ult. Um, I mean, no, I, I always save my ult for him ulting me, or what I do is I land a tentacle while he's on low HP, ult, and even while I'm in his ult, my your w, ult will keep yeah, hitting the, ten, the, just, just the spirit. Just from, so from neutral, damage. like, from neutral, neither of you have an advantage over each other, the mod um, will win if... a fight with no ults. Yeah. That's what yeah, I mean. which is why you, you play, you, um, no, 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 no. If I have a tentacle, and I'm in a 1v1, I will out damage him. Dude, I'm pretty sure he could just force you off the spirit, right? Not without ult, no. I don't know. I feel like. Also, you can just ult your E as well. I forgot. I've that played too. that matchup before. Yeah, and, and it seems insanely hard for a Lowy. <laughs> I'll be um, honest. With without brain, yeah. With my brand new diamond coach, no. Didn't you only do one coaching session with this guy? Yeah, and he couldn't speak English, so it was just like. He'd spend 10 minutes trying to come up with a word in English from French and then tell me, and it was like, yeah, don't do that. You actually got a coach. <laughs> well, he cold messaged me on League saying like, hey, dude, I'm, uh, how's it going? I'm an Alawi one trick in High Diamond slash Masters. Um, do you want some coaching? I was like, yeah, okay. And he said, yeah, I'll pay what you want. So I didn't, just didn't pay him. And um, he they didn't pay gave, him. Me like an, gave me two hours of his time. And then at the end, sent me the payment link. And I said, yeah, cool. Cheers. Because um, to be honest, like that it was only twenty such, minutes long. That is such a George scam. No, how is like, that scam? He said, I would do he the said, exact same thing. Fuck. He him. said, he said, pay what you think it's worth. <laughs> so um, anyway, um, 
yeah, he he just kind of spent 20 minutes actually looking through the game, and the rest of the time he was just saying, yeah, don't do this, don't do this, don't do this. So, um, anyway, I'm a better player now. So he coached <laughs> you. Surely that's worth something, George. You gave nothing. It's it's worth my time. My time's it's worth, right. Oh yeah, my it's worth God. a fucking middle finger. That's what it's I, worth. I helped him. I gave him some constructive What's feedback. What's wrong with George? Do you not feel I like scummy getting doing my money's that? Worth. Bro, if well, you, it's, it's you, you're business. telling me if that happened to you, you would pay him. Yeah, I would. If oh, you agree, if you fair, agree you to doing gave, the coaching, yeah. you gave a homeless man a five pound note. True. Wow. I did. Wow. He, we you were just walking through Sheffield with where there's fucking a million homeless people, by the way, mm-hmm. in mm. Sheffield. They're all over fucking Sheffield. They really this are. Guy, this guy walked up and was like, change? And then Marshall looked in his wallet, had no coins, but pulled out a five pound note and then felt obligated to give it to mm. him because he pulled it out. I had one you bring out an Isaiah You once. got a happy meal with that, he said. You can start a company, right? As I, long as you're not bankrupt. And then with the company, they had a promotion for a while. You could get a card reader for like f- five pounds. So some guy, homeless guy, was just chilling with a little Lysel machine. Just trying like, you know, oh, I don't have any change. Well, do you have a card? You know, like. That is, that is based as fuck, to be honest. If a homeless guy pulled up to me with a card reader, I'd I'd, I'd give him some money. Just for the respect yeah. of the grusser. <laughs> the grusser. Yeah, I would as well. It's like funny, you know. Yeah, exactly. Oh, just produces a fucking. I spent five p on a CD about how God, <laughs> how Satan has put microchips in our hands. <laughs> Damn! How I didn't realise Bob Chamberlain how, was in Sheffield. And how the microchips are stopping the connection to Jesus God, <laughs> slash God. And then we put, I put the CD in one of my uni computers. <laughs> 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 so I think that computer might have got virus the fuck out of. To be honest. That's pretty all, the, based. all that was on the disc was like videos of people going to church and then whipping themselves. <laughs> <laughs> that was the entire fucking disc. Oh, they were flagellants. And then we just, That's very funny. We were just like, what the? And then we just left it in the, the fucking computer and left. The actual best 5 p.m. ever spent. Any more hard hitting questions? Good content. People have often accused George Bush and Rumsfeld and Cheney of orchestrating the Iraq War to gain control over the vast oil reserves of Iraq. Do you agree with this theory or not? Yes. Please elaborate. Okay, next question. <laughs> next, next question. Uh, have you seen any movies recently, George? Any uh, any Guardians s- of the Galaxy 3, actually. How was that? How was that? Because I've heard very mixed things come. about it. No, well, so I went with Ben. Right, I went with Ben and uh, who's sitting on my left? Do you go, um, Tom? James, no. James Far, James Far. Sure. What a man! What a, what a hunk of a man! A hunk of a man. Give us his social security number while you're at. Uh, James Far actually lives. I don't know his address, but I turned up at his house on on literally like two a.m. on New Year's Day. I just let you myself did, in. Did. Marshall, you were there. Yeah, we were celebrating New Year's, and then George just walks in the living room, <laughs> and then after like fifteen minutes, he leaves because he was like doing the rounds apparently. I just wanted to come say hi, and I knew that people were in the house because the lights were on. You just walked in. Oh, nice. George just suddenly walked in the living room. He was like, hey guys. That's fucking funny. <laughs> Yeah, just wanted to test his um his home security. He didn't answer how the question about how good the movie was though. Mm. Um, I'm getting there. So I'm sitting next to James Farr and Ben. <laughs> Movie's on, and you know your Discord has a culture of of cum, right? Yes. Um, <laughs> and we're watching the movie, and it's a really sad moment, yeah. right? Where they're in like they're in like heaven, <laughs> all right? And <laughs> and he's talking to like this his friend that he lost years ago, and it was his fault, and it's really emotional. And basically, they're beckoning him to the afterlife, and he says, "Can I come?" <laughs> and Ben turns around to me, looks me dead in the eyes with a big shit eating <laughs> grin in his face, and J- I turn to my left, and James is doing the same thing. I'm like, oh, ah. I've just been infected by MDH. That, that is me and Marshall's <laughs> doing for sure, by the way. <laughs> Um, and then they say it like twice more in there, and then I giggle a little bit. Yeah. But yeah, it's it's a very um. It's a, either way, it was a good movie. <laughs> I think James Gunn is an absolute genius. Um, and what he did for Guardians of the Galaxy is amazing. Mm. Um, I think he's he's a good good at movies. Less good at um the whole like interaction with people on Twitter thing. Mm. Yeah, I love James okay. Gunn on Twitter. Um, I think it was based that he switched from being the leader of uh, MCU or whatever shit. 
to being the leader of DC. DC because he kept making child porn jokes, like, but 15 years ago. That shit is... <laughs> yeah, back... What a wacky back story cool. that was. Different time. Poggers, bro. You could make him I in 2000. I watched Bullet Train when I was in Leeds. Yeah? That movie's good, bro. How is that I mean, film still in cinema? We saw that, like, five months in ago. It was, we watched it. Mm. We watched it on fucking <laughs> Distinction TV. Uh, thank God. <laughs> Yeah, that that like felt that like a Guy Which Ritchie film, but I'm pretty sure it wasn't a Guy Ritchie film. Maybe That's what I thought. Good. I walked out of it thinking it was Guy Ritchie, and it was not. But also, my biggest pet peeve with that is that it wasn't like it was, they were on the bullet train, right? But yeah. it took them like all night when it's only meant to take two hours or something. Mm-hmm. I'd say my pet peeve with that. <laughs> that film sounds like was my kind of complaint there, George. They over-explained yeah, the that... jokes too much. There's that as well, which I also think. It was one of the issues with Guardians of the Galaxy 3. Oh, aside from the cum. Well, I mean, that's just the a cum. James Gunn thing in general, though. He'll have, like, well, an emotional moment, and then he'll just add a joke in, and because it feels too sincere. It was... No, no, no. I think all the jokes were quite were quite well-timed and quite good and quite well-received. Mm-hmm. However, Adam Warlock, right? The post credit scene for Guardians of the Galaxy 2, Adam Warlock was, like, you know, they teased his creation... And in this movie, you know, Will Poulter was cast as him and bulked up a bit. And I was expecting big things. And big things did not happen. Like, the character was very underwhelming for me as a massive um, Will Poulter and Adam Warlock. <laughs> Are you a big Adam Enjoy? Warlock in the <laughs> Big advocate. Do you read any I have. I, I, will, I will cam on now with the Adam Warlock comics that I own. Okay, you know what? The specific Adam Warlock I, comics. I respect that, because it feels like a lot of MCU fans are like, holy shit, Adam Warlock! And it's like, do these... I, I don't read the comics. I don't give a shit about, like, the, the Marvel films or whatever. So just putting my cards uh-huh. on the table. It just seems like a lot of them just, like, hype themselves up, even though they haven't interacted with the media outside of films, and then it's not like it is, and then they get mad. But if you legit do read the comics and have a problem from that, that's fair I enough. I don't have Cam on. But I have um I have the yeah, we can imagine. Adam Warlock comics. I have them in my hand right so now. So they, they ruin the character basically. They didn't ruin it, basic basically, right? In in the comics, he's quite a pivotal person in like the Infinity Gauntlet and mm. Infinity Stone saga. He's the one that kinda like not delivers the finishing blow to Thanos, but does actual cool shit and saves everyone. And in and a very like neutral figure. He's like the one that's uh, linked to the Soul Stone and uses the powers for good and doesn't go on any rampages. In this, he's like portrayed as an infant, and he's been taken out of the cocoon too early. Um, and they've basically like carved the character away from what the comic source material is, kept some of his powers, but disconnected any connection to the Soul Stone, and then made him like you know this tenable character that they're going to make into one of the Guardians of the Galaxy over time. And it's a bit sad to think that all this potential, all this cool thing, basically the whole character, they've just used the face and the powers and made something else. Did they uh, um, Did they make him sexy though, George? Um, kind of. I mean, Will whoa, Poulter, whoa, whoa, the guy whoa, whoa. with the eyebrows. I thought you said he just came out of the cocoon. Isn't he like, barely, yeah, not even one? he was like 28. 28. What? He just came uh... out of the cocoon at 28? He's born Listen, sexy. If you're going to go into this kind of like lolly style stuff. <laughs> Ollie. Well, no, Wait, no, what do you, she's what do you 800. Mean, what do you mean by that? What does that word mean? She's she's 800 years old. Could you, no. could you explain? Could Bentley Media explain that word <laughs> and what it means? Uh, no, ben, I've never heard Bentley of it. Bentley Media is so. a separate. <laughs> Bentley Media is now officially <laughs> I, a separate. I would just like to know Bentley what that word means <laughs> and why you know what that word means. No, I'm just wondering. It's she's just... 900. <laughs> exactly. Um. I'm See what happens to is. I'm to off to full party Lulu. <laughs> She's actually 900, guys. When you spend um, more than 10 minutes in Discord with Ollie, um, <laughs> you, you tend to pick up a few terms, you know? Just <laughs> osmosis. I wish I could sniff feet in VR chat. I wish that I could. I, I want to install spyware on Ollie's computer just so I can PO, like see his POV for all the VR chat sessions. <laughs> yeah, yeah, like, I would, I would love. Like I just, I wish I could like hot joins his sessions or something. I think you can. <laughs> can you? Imagine that. No, I'm gonna, I'm gonna like eagle oh, up. It would be, it would be like looking at like Cat a Lovecraftian novel. You wouldn't want to look. You'd go mad. Catfish him in VR chat, True. bro. I change my mind. Do that instead. Like imagine the Louis Theroux style documentary yeah. I could do. <laughs> I've been, I've I just like about this before. I, we should do it. VR yeah. chat exploration. 
Yeah, that'd be cool. Into the Spider Verse. Yeah, exactly. Into the Furry Verse. Into the Furry Verse. There we go. How degenerate you can get and like uh, speedrun find the weirdo servers. Mm -hmm. This happens frequently. I have brain damage. Mm. Anyway, any more questions for the special guest? I want more more words you've picked up. What else have you learned, George? More words mm. from Ollie. Um. Oh, from Ollie. I was like, yeah. see if any are new to us. I couldn't think of Hello? words from it. I was like, English. Hello? Um, Red. Um, What's the color? Green. Um, let's let's legally protect my um, <laughs> reputation by not not disclosing any more of the terms I've picked up from association through Oliver. I, was starting, I, I watched fucking Fast and Furious one. No, yeah, do you like it? I've I've never seen a single one. I don't want to see. I've, how seen, you're gonna die until I've this seen up to eight when eight came out. I watched them all up to eight. Yeah, I'm gonna, I like. I'm gonna watch them all. I now. like. <laughs> I think I like up to five. I think is where I like to. I think yeah, I think up to five is where I like them. And... I like how small Vin Diesel is. <laughs> oh no no no! It gets really good when um the Rock shows up, and because the Rock's taller than Vin Diesel. Yeah. But Vin Diesel has like a clause in his contract where it's like he he has to be seen as equal height to the Rock. <laughs> they do some yeah. very funny framing of the shots to make it seem like they're equal height. Because I was height. gonna say I I feel like I I feel like. I've seen Vin Diesel the same size as The Rock. Yeah, but Vin Diesel no, you, is much you can, smaller than The Rock. No, you can see it. You can see you can see it in the when films you when first, you pay attention to it. You, you can see them abusing parallax to yeah. try and. Uh... When you when you watch the first Fast and Furious, Vin Diesel is is not that big. Look at this. <laughs> <laughs> they, they try and do the um. They try and do the forced perspective stuff from Lord yeah. of the Rings. It's very funny. Look up Vin Diesel in like Fast One. And look how fucking full that man is, bro. No. That's crazy. That's my official review of the film is Vin Diesel is small. <laughs> uh the movie is about what you would expect. I just uh, like how they go. Very from funny that. the NOS the NOS fucking effect. Stealing <laughs> stealing C D players to it's one literally going Cuban into NOS. space. They, they just press NOS button yeah. and then they go, whoa, <laughs> like they're going into fucking space. Yeah. You're like, fuck off, bro. It's very funny, though. And then he's like, yeah, kid, went too early. And then he presses <laughs> NOS button. And goes, whoa, and beats him. And you're like, fuck off. Also, at one point, Paul Walker is driving his car. And he's got like a simulation laptop Rest on his peace. Rest passenger peace. seat. Mm. And then the fucking laptop Yo, starts Walker's flashing an alert fuck? saying, your car is going to blow up. <laughs> and then Paul just goes, no, and then closes the laptop. <laughs> and then his car doesn't blow up. <laughs> and just drives <laughs> twice as fast and nothing happens. <laughs> fucking Giga Chad Paul Walker. Isn't, isn't that the scene goes, where no. the rock's like, your granite shifting, double clutching. You know, the classic Fast and Furious that scene. Mm hmm. Yeah, that's Vin Diesel that says yeah. that. Yeah, and he's like, winnings, he's winning. Like, double clutching's all off. Winnings, oh, winning, yeah. okay. Any I live my Rosa life a quarter mile at a time. <laughs> I used to say, I oh, there we go. I got the. Um... Mile at a time. Right, this is my favourite Adam Warlock comic. Okay. I'm going to read it for you. No, I'm not. Okay. Um, But in, in Adam Warlock lore, um, he has like a counterpart called the Magus, mm -hmm. uh, who's like the evil one. So I reckon that's something we'll see. Where, like, because he was grown in a tank. There'll be like a number one grown in the tank, and he'll be the big yeah, he's baddie. He's a test tube baby. He's a test tube yeah, baby. But he's oh, taken do you remember? Out. Do you remember the test, test tube alien? In my Marvel. What the fuck? Do you remember the alien ones? What? You know, you get what? those like. Um, oh, toys you mean that like soak the egg up with ones. water. Yeah. Oh, like grow your own alien yeah. kit. Do you remember? I don't know what they're called. Mm. They might have just been called oh, test. They were just called so test tube. Bring it back to this podcast focus: Marvel news gossip. And predictions. What, what's everyone's opinion on Jonathan Majors, and what do you think the future of Jonathan Majors in or outside of the MCU is going to be? And more what's the allegations they made against him? Um, well, it's not allegations. I think it is confirmed that he. Who is Jonathan? Jonathan Majors, Majors plays Kang the Conqueror in Marvel's Phase whatever the fuck. Who cares it anymore? Um, phase twelve. Yeah, yeah. Phase. They're gonna make these films until you die, and keep making them after that. Anyway. Who is the Flash guy that... Ezra Miller. Like Ooh, Ezra Miller's movie. stuff is great as well. I think he, uh... And he's still the Flash? Yeah. He's I will, in the uh, thing therapy is... now, isn't he? Yeah. The thing... James Gunn related to the him thing... was like, we'll keep him in. The thing with, like, Ezra Miller's stuff as well is that 
the like Warner Brothers executives are like, I think everyone can find it in their hearts to forgive Ezra Miller. And it's like that motherfucker like threatened people at gunpoint. He like kidnapped Didn't a like, child kidnap for someone. a bit. Yeah. What are you talking <laughs> about? Um, you like he, he he fucking went on a real bender. It's a yeah. He's a he's a fucking freak. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. He well. Ezra, Ezra Miller did do some very, very uh, bad Based. stuff. Oh. <laughs> Based, <laughs> Based stuff? He choked a woman at a bar. He, uh... Holy oh. fuck, when he kidnapped that kid? Harassed people. Chilled. He got a restraining Chilled. order. He got second degree assault charge. He uh, was accused of grooming and kidnapping someone. Uh, another parent also did that. He burglarized someone's alcohol. He just broke into their house and stole alcohol. Um, See, that just sounds like a classic uh, MDH Friday night. Mm. Yeah. Come steal mine. I got too much here. What was that? What was that like rant he went on on that? One oh, video? oh yeah, he, yeah. There was that like a uh, schizo rant they did. Yeah, he's like driving in his that car shit was... and he goes on a skit. Dude, that, that, that shit cult. was so funny. Probably that sounds like a very Ezra, Ez, Ezra Miller thing to do. Oh, I saw they played <laughs> Creep in Guardians of the Galaxy 3. And uh, Florence the Machine. Yeah, I only care about Creep. <laughs> Radiohead. Yeah, uh, Radiohead Creep. The so the anthem of BTEC mm -hmm. Discord for one month for some reason. Yeah, I think you're the reason actually. <sighs> Cause yeah. I'm a creep. I'm a weirdo. Any any Fred Durst in there by any chance? What the hell, Fred Durst was uh, on my no. uh, last year Spotify recap. <laughs> <laughs> and honestly, I'm proud of that. Huge Fred. Get up, get down. <laughs> I like a motherfucking chainsaw! I'm gonna cut your ass raw! Cause I think I might play something tonight! Rollin' 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 like that! Classic Fred Durst moment. I'm a huge Durster. We call ourselves Dursters, by the way. We do. Yeah. We're so no Durster. one knows what it's like to <laughs> be the sad man! <laughs> Wait, is that him as well? To be the no, bad no. man behind blue eyes. He was eyes. an original I... member of the Who. Jesus. No, he did do a cover of it though. Oh. No, uh, no. Fred oh, was... I remember that. Member, bro. For sure. Yeah, I mean. Fred Durst is that guy. I think Fred Durst is also a massive piece of shit, but <laughs> you know what? Honestly, <laughs> that's that's not that surprising. <laughs> Honestly, I can find it in my heart. I can find it. I'm still a Durster. <laughs> Yeah, unless he's yeah, done some crazy like... stuff, like Ezra Miller. Just like, or worse. I mean, when we think about it, what are the chances that Fred Durst has watched Twenty One Jump Street? True. Because if if they watch Twenty One <laughs> Jump Street, what did, I don't think Fred Durst's them. problem was. Kanye has been hella quiet recently. <laughs> yeah, because he's been busy watching Twenty One Jump Street. Yeah, apologizing. <laughs> you know what? I I used to used to hate Jewish people, and then I watched Twenty One Jump Street, and now you know what? And that Jonah I'm, Hill guy. I don't he think made me Hitler laugh. was a good guy anymore. Thanks, that, Jonah. That, that Jonah sounds Hill like guy. A, sounds he like a made clip. me laugh. Uh, and it's also legit what Kanye Hitler West did. did it. <laughs> which is just unbelievable. I'm starting to think that Hitler did it to them Jews. Fucking hell! What? A, what a Not guy only do I now believe the Holocaust happened, I also think it was bad. Like Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ, Kanye. Truly. <laughs> Truly a profound take from Kanye West. I can listen Chevy to his Chase's songs again. National Lampoon. <laughs> Thank God, <laughs> I can jam out to Runaway again. Mm -mm -mm -mm. <laughs> so what's your what's your favourite Kanye West song? My favourite Kanye West song. Yeah. Well, you now you're asking me. I question. think it's the one about Paris. Uh, <laughs> I like I Wonder quite a bit. I Wonder's good. Uh. Can you do it, sing a little bit for me? Gentleman and in I Paris is a good song. It's, an, it's one of his good If you know ones. how it feels. And I'm back on my grand. <laughs> <laughs> there you go, that's what I wonder. Good song, okay. good song. Okay. Uh, Runaway is good as Yeah, well. how's that go? Run away from me, baby. Run away. Okay, that's Runaway. Mm -hmm. 
Life of the Party. That's a good one. That's a new one. Oh, yeah. How's that one going? Yeah. <laughs> 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 he goes, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a goddamn minute. There you go. That's Life of the Party. That's Life of the Party. That's a good uh-huh. one. Uh, Ooh. And I will not name any more because <laughs> I don't want to see any more. So, The Elephant Man, John Merrick, right? The Elephant Man was real, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's like a, it was a guy with a fucked up face, so he was on a freak show. Yeah. That was, you know, back when, they, so, um... back when they had freak shows. I don't think you can do them anymore. No, definitely not. No, that's just called MDH at this point. <laughs> <laughs> that's just yeah. called this um... podcast, yeah. When I'm going to put a photo of him. About I'm Elephant him, Man, ready? I was scared of him. I'm not going to lie. Look mm-hmm. at that. How that's... can you not be terrified of that? That's an actual photo of, of them. So, it's not um, scary, he's just pitiable. Oh, I thought I thought he was some Sad. fucking freak <laughs> that was coming to eat my brain. Oh. On God, I did. Who is, With, that, um, who is the guy that could like eat everything? There was a guy oh, that just you're ate talking everything. about the French guy. No, he ate a plane. Yeah, the French guy. Uh, oh, who what? Like ate a plane and stuff? Yeah, no, his no, stomach no, no. And then died. No, no. Was super no, thin. No, that's he, like, a, that's a, you're, live cats he's talking about to drink their blood. Terrain. And he, yeah, so, and he would eat babies. He's, oh. he's, he's just a uh, French guy in, in the seventeen hundreds, and, and he could just like eat. He just ate everything. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. Like his his he was put on like a traveling show where he'd just like eat rocks and live animals. Yeah. And like just entire yeah. baskets of just apples, and shit. Yeah. Uh, allegedly, he ate a baby, and he would also allegedly eat out of gutters and rubbish heaps. Heap. Yeah. And shit. Um. Mm-hmm. But at the same time, this is from like the 1700s. So how how much of this is actually no. like true? There was also another guy that could eat that had like a that ate a plane, didn't he? There was a guy that who had a recent. his stomach lining was like twice as thick as a normal person, so he could just eat anything. So he yeah. ate. I don't know if he finished eating a plane, but he ate most of it before he, did, he died. Yeah. He didn't die he of like eat eating the plane. But I think he did. He eat might have plane. finished eating it. He ate like trolleys yeah. and stuff as well. But he um, was trying can to I just interrupt this thing. podcast mm-hmm. to highlight the fact that I just got during this podcast I swiped on someone, matched with them, and got a message from them, and they haven't yet deleted their account. Wow! Um, did you use a pickup line? I uh, what, No, what they just messaged on? me with H U, and then corrected it to H I. What are you gonna um, say? Now I'm gonna unmatch them because I don't mess with no illiterate fucks. <laughs> <laughs> Call them illiterate mm. first. <laughs> you got it. <laughs> Illiterate, unbanned. <laughs> I know, but I can't because that's how I got banned from Tinder. What, insulting people. <laughs> no, I just said, I said, can you please present your GCC English certificate prior to our first meet? And then they banned you. Um, and then uh, they reported me, and then after a few, I got banned, I believe. <laughs> oh, you said that was the only instance, and you, yeah, after you a did. few. So it seems like you're just. Uh, there, was a, there was a few. There was a few. Habitual grammar. Uh, just tell Tinder you... that. It was funny. So John Tinder. Your Honor. Pants. Your Honor. Um, apparently there was also a Tony Award winning play uh, called The Elephant Man. Wow. Which uh, Mark Hamill starred in. And Bradley Ooh, Cooper. Damn. Nice. Did you was know he, was Mark Hamill Mark being the Hamill Joker? got hit by a car. When? Let's talk about Andor. Still the Star Wars television <laughs> show. Have we all seen Andor here? Andor. Andor's good. Yeah, yeah it's a good it show. is a good show. That's why I brought it up. Yeah, it was, it was Let's talk about Shazam, thing. Fury of the Gods. Mm, I've heard that's not very good. I've heard any DC content isn't very good. Uh, either. Peacemaker's good, and the Suicide Squad was good. And you know what they have in Peacemaker common? Peacemaker was just long. They were made by James, James Gunn. Gunn. <laughs> Sounds like James Gunn just needs to patent. Like, so, okay, so don't get me wrong. I think anyone could have made a superhero movie around like the period of Iron Man, and it'd be pretty successful. Well, but um, we know that's not true. Now though, right? it's so oversaturated. Well, no, no, the audience doesn't. I'm an authority figure here, Greg. They I mean, the they, they were making numbers. superhero films in the 2000s, right? Like the incredible, they, the Incredible yeah. Hulk, yeah. Sp- Sam Raimi yeah, Spider-Man films. Well. They yeah. did very well. I think the Incredible Hulk did so badly that it shit got shit canned, and they replaced the actor <laughs> with Mark Russ- R- <laughs> Ruffalo. No, no, no. So the movie did okay. But the actor was apparently just very unpleasant to work with. So they just like, were like, well, we've got this movie that did okay. And a lot of our audience have already seen it. And it's too, we want to use the character in Avengers. So, because at the time of the Incredible Hulk being made, they had a vague roadmap for the Avengers. And at that point, he was such an integral part in it that they couldn't remake the movie, even though the actor was being recast and the movie didn't do amazing. So they just kept it. 
kept the story canon, but just recast the actor. Uh, well, there's also the Fantastic Four. Remember Fantastic those ones? Four, yeah. Those were bad. Mm. Which which one? The yeah. Fantastic Four. Oh no no the the the, the one the, the the one with Chris 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 Pine Evans. Pratt. Chris Evans with the Chris the, Evans. The, he was the Chris Fu Pratt. Fuego Man. The yeah. Fuego Man. Fremont. Mr. Fire. The Fuego Man. And Big then he became Captain guy. Captain John America. Less CEO of John. the United States. <laughs> he did actually become the CEO. So you have to fight one Avenger. Who's it who's it gonna be? Who's it being? Uh who is the uh, least likely to murder me and then that one. Right? They're like Renata rotted. Wouldn't it be, uh, wouldn't it just be, um, Bruce Banner in his Bruce Banner form? Oh, yeah, true. Yeah, yeah. can he, can he I go? Think Bruce Iron Banner, I, I think Iron Bruce Man Banner, out of the suit. I think both of them would still deck you. Yeah, but, like, yeah, but, they're... yeah, but, you just... he didn't Black say Widow which do, one like, would be. Crazy that's like, fucking, like, neck snap shit. That's like saying, I, I'll take a Black Widow, but while she's sleeping, you know? Like, it's a pretty easy match. I don't know. No, it's much different. I, I don't know, if I have a gun? And someone's asleep. I'll take Iron Man when he's out of the suit what? and he's asleep. And I also have uh, M16 no, and very quiet <laughs> shoes, and I can just shoot him in the head. I think yeah. I think I win. Next question. <laughs> Next question. <sighs> oh, fucking tired! Holy shit! All right, guys. Let me tell you, spending a weekend away mm. from your bed Did you work and today? drinking a lot makes you tired. Yeah, I worked. Mm. Let's ask. Did you work? Yep. What did you do for work? I am a software engineer. Oh, yeah, <laughs> I, had a, I had a talk with Ben uh, last Thursday right. that uh, Ben was saying that any time he has to say that he works in IT, whoever is talking to you, you can just watch them just like zone out and not care because IT is so boring, right? <laughs> I say, how do you think I feel? I have to say gambling. And they're like, Ooh. I think I love IT. What? If you say gambling, you're gonna get a fuck ton of questions, I bet. I get questions, Gamba. yeah. Yeah, but well, that sort of implies people are interested, right? They wouldn't be asking questions for the I suppose, but it's always what the same question, which is oh, how of I course. money. Oh, uh, like well, <laughs> what's the best way to play the slots? <laughs> they say tell me tell me the secrets, tell me the secrets, and I say don't gamble. The secrets are you will lose fucking money, dipshit. Yeah. Your odds are like forty five, fifty five. You know. The, leak is, the, the, the secret is load up Tundra Wolf. True. Sponsored by Tundra Wolf. Because that, let me tell you, that slot never fails. Except for the one time we played it on stream. <laughs> <laughs> so right, we'll get enough oh, Patreon wow. money. Apparently there's a job yeah. for digital content producer at the Royal Household. Got that covered oh, already. So. We're taking pictures of... And there's um. The new also King one at Charles. Lotus. Oh wait, the lo okay, if you guys, do you guys know of the Lotus social media exec? Yeah, definitely. Right? Of course we do. No, no, no. On TikTok, he's quite famous because he was I like, he was, he was an engineer, right? He went, he got a job at Lotus. They had no TikTok presence, and he asked his line manager, "Can I run the TikTok?" And he did, but he just shit posted on it, and like he'd post, like just really like. Um, no, so he did relate uh, memes, and then like the Opera, well, like, Opera GX. Twitter. Yeah, or Wendy's. Yeah, kind of like that. He'd do like really like um, purposefully shit edits or like meme edits and then he like showed his face a few times and it got like a big and it had nothing really to do with the brand but obviously um, I guess it increased awareness. Shit like posting around content and yeah and people mm. yeah, like and this. it worked but then he's been sniped to go do stuff for Gymshark um, which I find a little bit strange but I've just seen an advert on uh, an Instagram account for the role for £39,000. Those are some big old boots to fill by just shitposting. Because, like, if you go as a brand, if you get successful shit posting, you can't then start posting seriously. It just abuses the trust the viewers, the audience has put in you to shit post. What do you mean? You just make so your shit lose post... all their audience no, you make and any relevancy. You make your shit posts a bit more serious or a bit more company evolved. Well, you like, yeah, you can slowly edge it, but like by clean cut going for someone else. Well, I, I really would assume gonna... that they're not, they wouldn't do that, right? Like the person next in line isn't going to radically change what's working, right? They're probably not going to tell. Well, they're pretty, that, right? pretty big, serious company. They're not. I don't think their strategy in the first place was to shit post. This guy was like, oh, I'm gonna give it a go. Oh, I don't know. I guess it we'll wasn't see. Like a job we'll see in the. We'll him. see. I guess. 
But that that no, type I'm, of yeah, that stay type tuned, of, viewers. That type of company acting human is has been very Come. popular in the recent couple years. Um You know. He's also a social media officer for St. John's Ambulance. Um You looking for those? I mean these these are all meme jobs, mm -hmm. right? That are gonna get genocided by chat GPT. Uh no, it's like social media manager, so it's actually I guess like video is the main thing that can't be reproduced at the moment. Yet. Yet, Give I guess. Time. I don't know. Then Mark Cuban said software engineers are going to get genocided by ChatGPT, so really, who the fuck knows? Mm -hmm. I don't think that's true. I'm also biased because I don't want to get genocided. Yeah. <laughs> Here's a snake drinking See, some water. Think... Can you uh, put that on the podcast, please? It's a really good... I like this video. <laughs> look look oh, how it drinks up the water. Me cry. He's so thirsty. I'd quite like a snake. Yeah, looking one. at this Special is making life? me want to own a snake. I'm, well, I'm about to live in London and like move three or four times in the next couple of months. One of my cousins I if I can, like, keep one. owned a tarantula, uh, but they fed mm. it live crickets and then the crickets ate the tarantula. Damn, no, that's really? wild. Which is not supposed to happen, but it did happen. No, it's not. Wait, the cricket ate the tarantula? The crickets ate the tarantula. They put like 10 crickets in and they just fucking killed the tarantula and ate it. And they won! <laughs> You're not supposed to live feed them, um, Jesus. for that reason, because mm. <laughs> they can just kill your fucking <laughs> <laughs> How? How do they win? Well, it was like 10v1, and I think it recently like shed its skin, so it was we It was in a weakened state. Oh. Unlucky. L, L Tarantula. Yeah. L. Yeah. It's so funny. <laughs> they just they just massacred the tarantula. <laughs> <laughs> they fucking won. Oh, sick. And on that note, on that note, I think <laughs> we're gonna end this podcast with a power. <laughs> <laughs> Without cutting that further earlier, man. Yeah, but I made a joke afterward that it won't work now. <laughs> okay, they just leave us. <laughs> In that case, I think we'll end the podcast with a poem and a joke. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I'd like to I'd like to end this podcast with a poem. End it. We've not ended, George. Yeah, like, I've got to cut out like half of this podcast. We have still got ages. I mean, like later on, later on. Okay, how about I say the poem now, we'll so I don't forget it, the and end. then you just put yeah. it at the end. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Can we leave yeah, this yeah. this whole go, 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 this go. whole charade in? False greatness by Joseph Merrick. Is my true form. Wait, fuck. Okay, I fucked up. Illiterate. <laughs> Good night, everyone. <laughs> this, is, this is gonna be the least professional podcast I've been on this week. Shut the fuck, fuck up, you pussy bitch. <laughs> oh my god. He's Didn't not you ask to again. come on this podcast? Yeah, he's not coming on again. <laughs> See, I thought the podcast would be better. Did you, you know? That to be fair, I'd say this was. <laughs> Of the work See, we have done. I, I expected big things. I, this this has got to come together in the edit, or oh, fucking hell. Yeah, I, I would say, fault, I would say George, of, of the recent ones, this one has been the worst. This is, yeah, this this is, is the worst crash. of season I've been asking season questions. Two. I'd You're say not this might be the worst See, someone has to take the crown. Done. Someone has to take the yeah, crown. This mm. Joe has been over overtaken. Joe who? Mm. Exactly. Joe Mance oh, was said on the podcast name, and it's now no, no longer the worst one. Hmm. That's the title. Oh Maybe yeah, let's like... call this no longer the worst one. Or call it the worst one. Wait, now. The new worst one. The, the worst one ever? Question mark? Yes. Yeah. The worst one ever? Don't, yes. don't watch this Well, I'm glad one. I was able to provide some clickbait for you guys. Mm. George, George eats shit on the podcast? Me shit.